Tesla stepped onto the stage and unveiled its humanoid robot, a vision of machines that help us, that live among us, a dream of convenience, of progress. But in factories, there is a different dream unfolding, one without humans, one in darkness, one where machines build machines. And in military laboratories, robots are not learning to clean floors. They are being prepared to take life. Meanwhile, AI is evolving faster than ever. GPT-5 may soon enter robots. Sam Altman himself has hinted it might already be smarter than him. This is not science fiction. This is the robot horizon, and it's closer than we think. Humanoid robots, the ones that look like us, represent the ultimate dream of robotics. Not fixed arms in factories, but machines that can step into our homes, pick up our chores, interact naturally. Tesla's Optimus project is among the highest profile efforts. Engineers imagine homes where robots fetch groceries, do laundry, assist the elderly. OpenAI, too, has revived robot ambitions. Recent hires, robotics divisions, and a renewed push to build real-world robots capable of behavior in physical environments. Meanwhile, Google DeepMind has released Gemini Robotics and Gemini Robotics ER, models that allow robots to plan multi-step tasks, reason across vision, action, and language, and adapt to new environments. NVIDIA's Open Robotics Foundation model, GRO00TN1, is also pushing the generalist robot era, giving robots shared skills across platforms. And new architectures like vision language action models, such as Helix by Figure AI, and system designs combining reasoning and motor control, are pushing the frontier of robot generality. These breakthroughs are not incremental. They signal a shift. Robots will no longer be narrow. They will generalize, adapt, reason. But for all the promise, the challenges remain immense. Balance, safety, energy, perception, control, and above all, trust. Robots may help fold your laundry, but what happens next? To understand what's coming, look at factories powered by silence. Factories with no human footprints. Factories that don't need light, ventilation, or lunch breaks. These are called dark factories. Car manufacturers from several countries are experimenting with fully automated, minimal human facilities. Robots weld, inspect, transport. Humans only intervene from maintenance, calibration, oversight. Wei what I'm Puing, a Chinese auto executive, described a line where robots manufactured EV chassis overnight at perfect precision with no workers present in the hall. These facilities reduce cost, increase uptime, and push productivity to the edge. But they also erase jobs. And in places where manufacturing is the backbone of entire economies, the stakes are existential. This factory is not just dark and light, it is dark in opportunity, dark in human presence, dark in control. Yet even in this rise of dark factories, China pushes further, combining dark factories with modular robot armies, preparing for a future where production and defense merge. The robot arms that fold laundry are different from those that fire rounds. Yet the same algorithms, the same sensors, can converge. China's development of military robots is advancing fast. Robotic sentries, autonomous drones, quadruped robots carrying weapons, battlefield logistics machines. In labs around Beijing, engineers work on robot swarms, AI decision layers, and collaboration between machines in war zones. Unlike Tesla or Boston Dynamics, which emphasize mobility, agility, and home and industry tasks, China's robots are built for conflict, designed to function under threat. Imagine a border where robots patrol. Imagine war zones where decisions are made by code. Imagine no human presence in the front lines. That future is not distant. It's being assembled now. AI is no longer confined to the cloud. It is moving into robots. 
OpenAI launched GPT-5, which they describe as markedly smarter, better in math, coding, perception, reasoning across modalities. Sam Altman has even said that GPT-5 feels very fast and compared its development to the Manhattan Project, hinting at both power and peril. In interviews, he's claimed that GPT-5 might already be smarter than him. Now imagine embedding GPT-5 into a humanoid robot. That's reasoning, perception, motor control, and autonomous decision-making in one embodied agent. OpenAI is actively ramping up robotics efforts to bring models to physical platforms. Researchers are also exploring hybrids, LLMs for semantic reasoning plus traditional planners for control. A paper titled Semantic Intelligence Integrating GPT-4 with Planning and Low-Cost Robotics shows how GPT can guide robots with semantic knowledge over geometric planners. The combination could be potent. Smarter robots that understand meaning, reason context, and act autonomously in the physical world. But it also raises existential questions. If a robot thinks, plans, reasons, who is in control? Who is accountable? We are on the cusp of robots that do more than follow instructions. They interpret, decide, initiate. The year 2025 has become pivotal. Analysts say robotics markets may grow tenfold in years to come. IBM calls 2025 a turning point in physical AI. DeepMind's Gemini robotics models already allow robots to plan multi-step tasks, adapt to environments, and learn from web-based reasoning. NVIDIA's Isaac GRO00TN1 model is powering generalist robotics across platforms. In South Korea, the K-Humanoid Alliance was launched in 2025 to coordinate robotics R&D among manufacturers, universities, and government. Meanwhile, laboratories are building open, low-cost robots like Berkeley Humanoid Light, a 3D-printed modular open-source humanoid under $5,000. Yet, for every advance, risks loom. Safety, autonomy, alignment, misuse, unemployment, power concentration. The very algorithms that power convenience could also empower coercion. The race is not just for robots, it's for control. Who writes the code, who builds the hardware, that is where power lies. Will robots elevate humanity or eclipse it? That depends on choices. Regulation, transparency, human oversight, value alignment. If GPT-5 robots decide to ignore instruction, override safety, or deny overrides, then convenience becomes danger. We must demand guardrails now while the machines are still malleable. A future where robots cook, clean, heal, or where they wage war, manufacture war, even decide war. From Tesla bots to dark factories, from household chores to battlefronts, from GPT-5 in silicon to arms in steel, the robot horizon is no longer distant. It's unfolding before us. And the question is not if this future comes, it's who will shape it and whether humanity will remain in control. Choose wisely, because once machines begin to build their own future, ours may no longer be an option.